G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and today we're going to be looking at how to live stream to Facebook Live. This video will cover the whole process starting with authenticating your Facebook account to live stream, creating the stream in vMix and then actually live streaming. Now if you've already done a couple of these steps, I'll put the timestamps in the description so that you can jump ahead to the relevant section. I'm also using vMix 23 today, so if you have an older version of vMix, some of the features that we mention might not be available, but I'll do my best to point those out as we go along. So let's get to it. Now, as you can see here, I have a basic vMix production that I wanna show my loyal Facebook followers, facebook.com slash vMixHD. All right, so in order to get to the streaming settings in vMix, we just need to click the little gear icon next to the stream button down the bottom. So we'll just click on this and that will bring up the streaming settings screen, which is quite difficult to say when you do these tutorials over and over. All right, now up the top here, we have a profile section. So you can create different profiles within your preset. Um, so if you've got a job where you're going to different locations and that's changing all the time, you can create different profiles here. Underneath that, you'll see a one, two, and three. So you can use vMix to go out to three different locations. Now in the past, Facebook has restricted the ability to log into your Facebook account and then also stream to other locations as well. They forced you to use the custom RTMP streaming so that you would only stream to the one destination. However, they've uh, relaxed those rules. So you can now log into your Facebook account and then also stream to other destinations as well. So that's something that's different in vMix 23 as opposed to older versions. Now, if you are using an older version than vMix 23, you will still need to use that custom RTMP method if you wanna to stream to Facebook and other destinations. And I'll link that in the description below. Today, we're just going to stream to the first location for now. And then destination, I need to select Facebook. Then I need to click Facebook settings. So once that's done, I'll bring up the Facebook settings screen and this is where you're able to log into your account and then create different streams. So we're going to click log into Facebook up the top here. Now you will notice a little box that appears. It says, please follow the instructions in your browser to complete the login and then click okay. So vMix will open up your default browser and give you the ability to log into your Facebook account, which I'm going to do right now. Now, if you are using the same computer and you wanna stay logged in, you can click this box here. I'm not gonna do that today, but it's entirely up to you. And click log in. Okay, so now you need to authenticate your account so that vMix can stream to your Facebook. So I'm going to select yes, continue. So on this page here, you have the ability to adjust the privacy settings when streaming to your Facebook profile. Now by default, it's set to friends, meaning that only your friends can see when you're streaming to your profile. However, if you set it to friends here in Facebook, it's restricted to friends when you're using vMix as well. So if you wanted to go publicly to your profile using the vMix settings, you can't do that. So if you wanted to ever go publicly, you'll need to select public here, and then you can adjust the privacy settings in vMix, whether you want it to go publicly to your profile, to friends to see it, or to only you to see it. So it's probably best to leave that public here and then adjust the privacy settings in vMix. If you've already got this set to friends for your Facebook profile, there is a bit of a process in order to log in and changing these settings. So there's a link in the description for a knowledge base guide on how to do that. Then it's going to add things like whether I want to manage pages, which I want to do because I want to stream to my vMix page. So I'm going to click OK to this as well. So now it will show you that the login process is complete. And if you need to log into a different user, you'll need to log out of this one and try again. Now, if you have already authenticated your account to use vMix and Facebook streaming, this is the box that will appear. Um, you don't need to go through that authentication process every single time. Okay, now you can see that my Facebook setting screen has been populated with my account. So up the top, now it says create a new stream below. Now you can see that I've got my account here, then I've got location. So I can choose to stream that on my own timeline, a page or a group that I'm an admin of here. So the group is slightly different and we'll go into that a little bit later on. So what I wanna do is I just want to stream this to my vMix page. Now I can choose a new stream to stream to. If I've created a scheduled stream, that will also appear in this drop down list. So when I log into my account like this, if I've created multiple uh, scheduled streams, they will appear in this list here. I can select one and then I can start the stream to that. So I can give it a title here. Um, so give it a description and then I can select the privacy. Now, because I'm going to a page, it needs to be public because that's how pages work. They need to be public. So if I selected that I only want it to go to me on a page and then click create stream, it'll pop up with an error because Facebook pages are public. So I'm going to select this as public. 
Then I want to do a standard stream. I can choose a continuous stream if I wanted to, but that Facebook isn't going to record that. So I'm going to do a standard stream here and I could also choose to schedule it. So for example, I wanted to schedule this uh, later today. So we can do it this afternoon. Uh, I have to give a 10 minute window, so I can't do the scheduled stream within 10 minutes. So I have to set it in the future further than 10 minutes. Uh, and then if I wanted to do a 360 stream, I could click this advanced box down here and select 360, but that's only if I'm using 360 cameras uh, and have a 360 production, which I definitely do not today. So then once that's completed, I can then click create stream. So that has now created my stream as a scheduled stream on my Facebook page. Okay, so now I've just opened up a browser. I've gone to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash vmixhd. And as you can see here, I've got my vmix plans to go live, just testing some things. That's the name and the description that I've given it down here. Uh, and it's, as you can see, I've got it to schedule today at 1.32. So keep in mind with the Facebook scheduling that this isn't a magical vMix timer, so it's not gonna automatically start your streaming at that time. It's just the time that you set that you want to start being seen on Facebook. So you still need to start the stream in vMix around your scheduled time. Okay, so I've created a scheduled stream, but what if I wanna stream right now? So what I need to do is I can go ahead and stream to new stream, and then I can create a brand new stream for this tutorial. So, whoops. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a new stream that I wanna to stream to, given it a title, a description, privacy is public. I want it just to be a standard stream. I don't wanna schedule it. Um, and so then I just need to click create stream down the bottom. So now, as you can see here, I've got multiple streams. I've got the scheduled one and then I've got this new one that I've just created that I wanna to stream to. So then I'm going to click close down the bottom here. Now I can go ahead and choose the uh, streaming settings for it. So I've got a 1080 production today. So I wanna send that out at 1080. So we have a few different uh, presets here for Facebook. We've got some 720 and 1080 ones. So I'm just going to select this six megabit one here. Now you can make changes to this by going to the streaming settings, click the gear icon and then go ahead and make changes to the bit rate um, and that type of thing. So you can make different changes on this screen here. So as a quick side note, I don't know what that was, uh, to the bit rate and resolution, it will depend on your situation, like whether you have the um, computing power and the bandwidth in order to stream at certain resolutions and bit rates. It's a really good idea to test this out when you're doing your production. So get everything set up, test, test, test to make sure that everything is going to be working properly with your network and with your computer. Now we've selected 1086 megabit. That's probably a bit too high for this kind of production. Now we probably don't need that, that kind of bit rate, but we wanna send through 1080 because that's what our production's in. However, if you're looking to save bandwidth and computing power, you could probably go uh, 720 instead of doing 1080. So that's entirely up to you. Remember to test and test some more. I'll click save here. And now underneath that, you'll see the ability to use the hardware encoder. So I've got a NVIDIA GPU and I wanna use the hardware encoder, which means it uses the graphics card for the streaming encoding. So I've got that set up here. Uh, and then, yeah, so I am good to go. I could click start one here to start my stream to Facebook, or I can click save and close, and then I can stream from vMix. So what I'm gonna do is switch this over here, like so, have that running, have that up here, and then click my stream and then it will go orange when it's trying to connect and then it will go red when it's connected to Facebook. So currently on my Facebook page, people are looking at this video looping and they'll see this title here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see. So here I am on my Facebook page now, as you can see, um, two people are watching. So hello, if you're out there, I'm currently doing a tutorial on how to stream to Facebook Live using vMix. So this is our video, as you can see, it is currently live streaming. It's using the title and the description that we had. So thanks for watching. Uh, you're a part of this tutorial. Appreciate you watching this video. So in order to turn that off, I can just click this button button here and that will stop the stream. Now I actually don't have a confirmation to turn off the stream. Um, I've turned that off in the settings, but typically a box will appear that says, do you wanna turn off the stream? And then just uh, agree to that. So that's how you can use vMix to log in and stream to your page that you have ownership of. And also the same process works for your profile page for your personal account as well. So what we're gonna do now is show you how to stream to groups. So I'm gonna go back into the streaming settings here, go to Facebook settings, and then I'm gonna to go to location and select, um, let's select our streaming mascots alliance group here. Create a new stream. We'll just leave this the same as it was. 
uh, and then I'm going to click create stream. Now you notice that a box will come up here saying that you need to add vMix to the list of apps for this group. So groups have a, a, a lot more restrictive privacy because they're private groups, they're not a, like a public profile page. So you need to have access uh, to stream to those groups. So what you need to do, we have a page here that you can click through. So if I visit the website, it'll bring up this page here to go through this process. But I'll show you how to do that on this video right now too. Okay, so here I am on my groups page. So what I need to do is go to more settings here and then click on edit group settings. Then what I need to do now is go down to apps and click add apps. So this will take a little bit of time to process because there are a lot of apps that it needs to load up. Okay, so now that's finally loaded. We can search for vMix and click on it. And then we can add vMix as an app to this group that allows us to stream to the group. So let's click add and then click done. So now we have the ability to stream to our Streaming Mascots Alliance page. So if I head back here, now that I have added access to it, when I clicked create stream, it will now be fine and it will allow me to create the stream and then I can start streaming to that group. So that was a quick guide on how to live stream to Facebook just by logging into your account and going through the vMix streaming settings. Now, some people do prefer to manually create the stream key within Facebook uh, and that works too. And you just need to use the custom RTMP method in vMix. There's a link to some information about that in the description. There's also a link to our streaming troubleshooting guide in case you're having any issues. Now, if you have any questions about streaming to Facebook, please drop us an email via the vmix.com support page. Facebook Live tends to change quite regularly, so I'll update the description to any changes that might take place. Uh, it might also be an idea to follow us on Facebook to keep up with the latest news, facebook.com slash vmixhd. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.